Hey everybody, welcome. Thanks for joining us um, here in this Zoom room or on YouTube practicing with us. And uh, tonight we're um, going to explore and uh, like to offer a meditation on the elements and um, Earth Day was on Monday, and this is part of True North Insights offerings of uh, Earth Day meditations that have kind of spanned over the last few weeks. <clears throat> and uh, if you're joining us on YouTube, please check the link below if you would like to offer Donna to the Indigenous Climate Action Group or any other <laughs> group that is... Uh, doing work to support the healing of the earth. The elements meditation is um, part of the grouping of the first foundation of mindfulness. There's four foundations of mindfulness and the first foundation of mindfulness is mindfulness of body. And in that wide range of practices and dharma of mindfulness of body we have the the practices of mindfulness of our postures of our coming and going and movements of breath of um the charnel ground contemplations or death contemplations meditations on what's sometimes described as the the foulness of the body. So really talking about the inner workings of a body and, and also the outer workings that to try to uh, separate us from our attachment to uh, beautification of the body and clinging to delusion about what this body is. Um I feel like I missed one in there. Oh, yeah, the postures, I said. Yeah. So the elements is is one of these uh, practices that falls in the category of mindfulness of body. And I, I, I really enjoy this practice. Uh, sometimes when this practice is offered... It's uh, kind of sometimes can be stripped of its purpose and meaning and just can become kind of a nice visualization and mm, imagery of elements. And to understand the purpose of this meditation is to release us from our attachment, clinging, to the body as being something separate, me and mine, and um, uh, something separate and permanent and distinct from what it is, this collection of aggregates and elements. Oh, that's the other one, the aggregates. Thank you, Micah. I got it. <laughs> Were you sending me that message? The, the aggregates. <laughs> no. <laughs> um yeah, so the the intention that's clearly stipulated in the suttas and the teachings is of um, how do you use this meditation of the elements to help uh, release us from the delusion of seeing ourselves as some as me and mine uh, separate from our interconnectedness and our impermanence just like nature. Um, it, uh, there's a, I love this guy's teachings called Doug's Dharma on YouTube. Some of you might already follow him, but uh, you could just search Doug's Dharma. He, he, he does a lot of research and a lot of sutta study, which of course I love, and uh, really breaks things down in these wonderful teachings. And uh, Doug uh, says this, 
Doug. The main idea of the practice is to understand that there is no difference between the qualities of earth, water, fire, wind, or air that are found both internally in this form and externally outside the body. And in order to correct this misinterpretation that somehow we are special or essentially different from the outside environment, the internal elements and external elements are just elements. And all the elements, whether internal or external, are meant to be seen and understood and deeply understood that they are really yata butang, which means this is not mine, this is not, I am not this, this is not myself. It's really a liberating practice. Um, Thich Nhat Hanh says it in a very beautifully poetic way in his book, The Art of Living. This is uh, lovely. We are children of the earth, made of all the same elements and minerals. We contain mountains, rivers, stars, and black holes. In every moment of our life, the cosmos is going through us, renewing us, and we are returning ourselves to the cosmos. We are breathing the atmosphere, eating the earth's food, creating new ideas and experiencing new feelings. And we are emitting energy back into the cosmos in our thinking, our speech, our actions, in our out breath, in our body's warmth, and in releasing everything we have consumed and digested. In this very moment, many parts of us are returning to the earth right now. We don't return to the earth and cosmos only when our body disintegrates. We are already inside the earth and the earth is inside us. So beautifully said. Um, and to remember this as a liberating teaching, that it's not just a beautiful poetic uh, imagery, but to help us see that we are not separate and um, permanent uh, and not to be clung to. So um, there's many suttas that give reference to this earth um, elements and uh, I'll just refer to one of them that's in the Majjhima Nikaya number 62 here, the longer advice to Rahula, the Buddha's son. Um, mm, there's lots, lots of different threads that could be pulled, but that's the main one I wanted us to highlight today. And mm, yeah, in this, <laughs> in this sutta, it's very, uh, some people find it uncomfortable. I know my mom would be very, uh, she'd be logging off as soon as she heard part these, some of these descriptions, but it's for a purpose. So for instance, like mm, the Buddha, when, when describing what is the water element internally, this includes bile, digestive fluids, phlegm, pus, mucus, pus, blood, sweat, tears, grease of the joints, saliva, snot, urine, etc. And so you, this is just one of the elements. And again, it, it's, it's sort of like the, another part of the first foundation of mindfulness to help us uh, separate from just this uh, external 
attachment to what is what we think is pleasing or beautiful and want to identify as being me and mine um and and seeing the truth of of what this what this being is and uh it's clearly said that it's described as for instance, the earth element, what is hard and solid, and then he, he talks about the different parts of the internal form that ha have these characteristics that is appropriated. So this is clearly showing how, if we take it up as being me and mine appropriated from nature, taken from it's just nature, but if we appropriate it as being me and mine to this individual separate that is the delusion and that is a place of suffering and if we truly see these internal external elements as their true nature without appropriating uh, this is liberating yeah anything else no. Uh, okay, so I think we'll just uh, go into the the practice and um, you know give give a nice spacious time to really feel into these elements. Um, I might mention there's different versions of in the suttas depending on when through time some often there's four elements me mentioned earth water fire air and then sometimes we also see a sixth element the element of space sometimes there's also a sixth which is consciousness but we're not going to go there tonight but i will mention the sixth element and sometimes it's confusing of like, what do you mean space? Do you mean air? Like, uh, so space element just means the actual form. So you could feel like the, the earth element that's making the form of the nostrils and the bones and the flesh of the nose and the nostrils. But, and you can feel there's air moving through. Well, the air is moving through the space. There's a space here in nostrils um, or in mouth, in ear canals, in throat, etc. In some of the organs, there's a, a space element that is not necessarily full of air or other earth elements in it. At different times, it can just be space element. So interesting to explore that as well. Hmm. So adjusting your posture for the meditation, finding some stability and wakefulness. Hmm. And hmm. To begin this practice tonight, I would like to bow to, honor, acknowledge this earth element by acknowledging this, this land that we are all on, this air, this water, this land. This earth. So feeling into the place where you currently are residing. And a sense of this, this name that place may be currently given is a very new name that's Again, been some appropriation 
that before this name, this is very ancient land where people moved through and called it by name in a language we likely don't know. All the animals that have lived in this space where you currently are and have moved through, arisen and passed, made it their home, made it the place of their dying and birthing. Acknowledging ancestors that have arrived and moved through and landed in the place where you are. original peoples that survived and thrived in these places and were most often forcibly removed. Just taking a few moments in silence together to acknowledge the land where you are. And then sharing this teaching that the, the Buddha offered to his son Rahula. This earth element that we can directly feel and experience internally. Feel into the direct sensations and immediate knowing of what is hard and solid. In particular, you can even touch the teeth together and feel hardness, solidity. smoothness, you can feel the weight of the body, the solidity and hardness, heaviness of the bones holding us upright. And the quality of softness of the flesh. Hardness and smoothness of nails.
And there might even be some sensation of the inner earth element of the organs. And in the sutta, it's described this way, including hairs of the head. Body hairs. Nails. Teeth. Skin. Flesh. Sinews. Bones. Bone marrow. Kidneys. Heart. Liver. Diaphragm, spleen, lungs, intestines, bowels, undigested food, feces, and anything else that's internal, that is hard or solid. Qualities of heaviness or lightness, rough, smooth, or soft. And then feel in these next few moments of silence together how all of these different aspects of earth element are the same as the exterior earth element, just earth element. Not me. Not I, not mine, not appropriated from nature. Earth element, earth element. Internally, externally, rising, 
passing, conditioned and free from clinging. And then we'll gently include now turning awareness to meet with the water element internally. This includes digestive bile, phlegm, pus, blood, sweat, fat, tears, oil of the joints, saliva, snot, synovial fluid, urine, or anything else that's watery, has the qualities of flowing, has also the quality of cohesion, like when water is added to flour and it brings it into cohesion. So we can feel the moisture in the mouth or in the sinuses, in the throat, at the eyes. There may be sensations of fullness or fluidity in the bladder. Sometimes we can touch into sensations of pulse or flow internally. And so we'll rest together in silence, attending to this internal element of water without appropriating it from nature. Internally, externally, same, arising, passing, conditioned, and free from clinging. This is not me and mine, not separate, simply water element, earth element. And now awareness can also turn towards and directly know what's called the fire element. Fire element known internally and externally without appropriating it from nature. Fire element is that which warms the body also, what ages the body is that 
which heats us up when feverish. It's also the element that digests our food and, and drink. All the sensations of warmth and coolness. So some areas of the body, perhaps the tip of the nose, might feel cooler than the armpits. Or fingertips might feel cooler than palms of hands. Just feeling into the digestive heat that is happening internally. Those of us who are blessed with the sensations of hot flashes have an amazing practice opportunity to meet with fire element. Tending to this with wisdom, seeing internally and externally fire element, same, arising and passing, conditioned, and free from clinging or appropriating it to be just me and just mine. not separate from this, the sun, which has warmed the earth and grown the food, which is being digested right now. And now, including awareness with the air element. Air element that's known internally and externally, not taken and appropriated as being just mine. And this includes the winds internally that go up or down, breath winds. Winds in the belly and winds in the bowels. Winds that flow through the limbs, in breaths and out breaths. It has the quality of mm, distension or pushing and also the quality of support can be felt with air element internally. Expansion and contraction. And we can directly feel how this air element is moving internally and externally from the space around us into this form and back out. Rising, passing, conditioned, free from clinging.
And lastly, we'll include the space element. The space element includes the space of the ear canals, the nostrils, space in the mouth, the space for swallowing, the space in the stomach and in the bowels, and this should be seen with wise understanding. This is not me and mine separate. This is the space element internally and externally, free from clinging. We are children of the earth, made of all the same elements and minerals. We contain mountains, rivers, stars, and black holes. In every moment of our life, the cosmos is going through us renewing us, and we are returning ourselves to the cosmos. We are breathing the atmosphere, eating the earth's food, creating new ideas and experiencing new feelings. And we are emitting energy back into the cosmos in our thinking, speech, and actions, in our out-breath, in our body's warmth, and re in releasing everything we have consumed and digested. In this very moment, Many parts of us are returning to the earth. <clears throat> we don't return to the earth and cosmos only when our body disintegrates. We are already inside the earth and the earth is inside us. In these last few minutes of the meditation, 
Let awareness interconnect with the sensations of earth. Heaviness, solidity, the sensations of water flowing, pulsing. The sensations of fire, warmth, coolness, internally, externally. Air element around and through. And the space element, vast, boundless, <clears throat> so this can be a helpful and liberating practice to include in our mindfulness of body, first foundation of mindfulness meditations. Um, I hope you find it fruitful and liberating. Um, in this in this sutta of the Buddha speaking to Rahula uh, and giving this uh, meditation instruction, it is, he's telling him to, to um, meditate this way. Uh, he goes on to describe with each of the elements um, how, uh, for instance, when you meditate like the earth, Pleasant and unpleasant contacts will not occupy you. So um, all that is pleasing and displeasing that meets our eyes, our ears, our nose, our mouth, the body, um, the mind. When we meditate this way with the elements, and these contacts won't disturb us. Um, and he describes it like the earth it, earth itself suppose uh, one were to toss both clean and unclean things on the earth like feces urine spit pus and blood the earth isn't horrified repelled and disgusted because of this and in the same way meditate like the earth when you do, pleasant and unpleasant contacts won't occupy the mind and won't create clinging or pushing. 
and he goes through each element and describes it um, this way. And uh, I like it. <laughs> I like it that, that these words are used, which are usually, you know, considered, oh, that's rude, you know, don't say pus and uh, whatever else, you know, we, we don't talk about these things. And it's like, this is just part of what's so real and so true. And um, I think it's amazing that this suttas just really list these truths in a uh, a way that is meant to free us from misappropriating and clinging. Yeah, so I hope that uh, practice was at least interesting and perhaps fruitful for you. Thanks for joining us and check the link below to the Indigenous Climate Action if you would like to support this Earth Day themed meditation in that way that would be um a fruit and benefit for all beings and thanks for being here <laughs>